Welcome to Brainytainment, your one-stop source for all things informative, entertaining and brainy. We're on a mission here to make education not just enlightening but enjoyable too. Our aim is to deliver a wide array of topics from the mysteries of the cosmos to the intricacies of the human body, all in a way that's easy to understand and fun to follow. Today we're taking a deep breath and plunging into a topic that's as vital as the air we breathe. We're exploring the fascinating changes that occur in our lungs when we exercise. It's a journey that will take us from the very basics of lung function to the long-term benefits of regular exercise. We'll also be sharing some top tips on how to maximize your lung health through exercise. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of human physiology, specifically focusing on the changes in your lungs during exercise. Before we delve into the changes that occur during exercise, it's crucial to understand how our lungs work under normal circumstances. Let's imagine our bodies as complex, intricate machines. And the lungs, they're like the bellows, constantly working to fuel the machine with oxygen. Every time we breathe in, we're not just taking in air, but life-giving oxygen. This oxygen travels down the windpipe, into the bronchial tubes, and finally, into millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. It's here where the magic happens. The oxygen in the air we breathe passes through these minuscule sacs and into the bloodstream. Meanwhile, the waste product from our bodies, carbon dioxide, takes the reverse route. It moves from the blood into the alveoli and is expelled when we exhale. It's an elegant exchange, a dance of sorts, happening with each breath we take. Our lungs don't work in isolation, though. They are an integral part of our circulatory system. The oxygen-rich blood from the lungs is pumped by the heart and delivered to every cell in the body. Every organ, every tissue, every cell needs this oxygen to function, and in return they produce carbon dioxide, which is sent back to the lungs to be breathed out. So, in essence, our lungs serve two vital roles. They are the gateway for oxygen to enter our bodies, and they act as the exit route for carbon dioxide. They are the guardians of the gas exchange, if you will. Now, let's add a little twist to this tale. What happens when we exercise, when our bodies need to work harder, run faster, or lift heavier? Our lungs are adaptable. They step up their game to meet the increased demand for oxygen and the need to expel more carbon dioxide. Now that we've got a grasp on the basic workings of our lungs, let's turn our attention to what happens when we exercise. Exercise, as we all know, is a physical stress that demands more from our bodies, including our lungs. But what does this mean in real terms? Well, let's dive into it. Firstly, when you start exercising, your breathing rate increases. It's like your lungs are suddenly told, hey, we're going to need a lot more oxygen down here pronto. Your lungs, being the team players they are, respond by upping the tempo. This means you start taking more breaths per minute. Usually, we take around 16 to 20 breaths per minute, but during exercise, this can increase to 40 to 60 breaths. Secondly, your breaths also get deeper during exercise. Imagine your lungs as a pair of bellows. Normally they're pumping away at a steady, leisurely rate, but when you start exercising, they're like a blacksmith working double time, pumping harder and faster. This increased depth of breathing allows more air to flow in and out of your lungs, facilitating more oxygen to get into your bloodstream. And lastly, the exchange of gases in your lungs becomes more efficient. This is your lungs' way of saying, we've got this. They step up their game to make sure that every breath you take is maximized. Oxygen is quickly transferred from your lungs to your blood where it's whisked away to your muscles that are crying out for it. At the same time, carbon dioxide, the waste product from your hard-working muscles, is quickly expelled when you exhale. This efficient gas exchange is crucial to keep your muscles working at their best during exercise. But it's not all about quantity. Quality matters too. The air you breathe in is warmed and humidified in your lungs, ensuring it's in the best possible condition to be used by your body. So there you have it. When you exercise, your lungs go into overdrive. They breathe faster, deeper and more efficiently to ensure your body gets the oxygen it needs. These immediate changes help our bodies meet the increased demand for oxygen during exercise. But what about the long-term effects? Well, that's a tale for another scene. Stay tuned. Stay. Regular exercise doesn't just build muscles and burn calories, it also brings about long-term changes in our lung capacity and efficiency. But how does this happen, you ask? Let's delve into that. When we make exercise a regular part of our routine, our bodies adapt to meet the increased demand for oxygen. 
Over time, this leads to an increase in our lung capacity, which is the total amount of air our lungs can hold. Greater lung capacity means that with each breath, we can take in more oxygen to fuel our muscles. It's like upgrading from a small car to a limousine. There's just so much more room for everyone. Alongside this, our lungs also become more efficient. The muscles involved in breathing, such as the diaphragm and intercostal muscles, get stronger. This means they require less effort to draw in a breath. It's akin to having a well-oiled machine. Everything runs smoother and with less energy expended. But the benefits of regular exercise for our lungs don't stop there. Regular physical activity can also help reduce the risk of developing respiratory diseases. This includes conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and even lung cancer. Exercise aids in keeping our airways clear by promoting better circulation, reducing inflammation and strengthening our immune system. Simply put, regular exercise helps our lungs stay clean and healthy, much like a regular housekeeping service for your home. There's also a psychological angle to this. Regular exercise can help reduce stress and anxiety, which are known to trigger respiratory issues such as shortness of breath and rapid breathing. So, by helping you stay calm and relaxed, exercise indirectly contributes to better lung health. Clearly, exercise does wonders for our lungs, but how can we ensure we're exercising our lungs properly? Exercise is beneficial, but it's important to do it right to reap maximum benefits. First off, let's talk about breathing techniques. In order to maximize your lung health, it's crucial to learn how to breathe properly during exercise. One of the most effective methods is diaphragmatic breathing, also known as belly breathing. This technique encourages full oxygen exchange, which is beneficial for both your heart and lungs. Additionally, it helps to strengthen your diaphragm and slows your rate of breathing, making it more efficient. Now, onto the importance of a balanced workout routine. It's not all about high-intensity workouts. Low to moderate-intensity exercises also play a key role in lung health. Activities like walking, cycling or swimming can help to increase your lung capacity over time. Also, remember to include flexibility and strength training in your routine as they can aid in improving your posture, which in turn allows your lungs to expand more fully. Hydration and nutrition are other important aspects of a lung-healthy exercise routine. Staying well hydrated is essential for maintaining the moisture in your lungs and keeping the mucus thin. This helps to prevent infections and promotes better lung function. As for nutrition, a well-balanced diet rich in antioxidants such as fruits and vegetables can help to protect your lungs from damage and inflammation. Also, it's worth mentioning that air quality can significantly affect your lung health. Try to exercise in areas with clean air, away from heavy traffic and pollution whenever possible. Indoor exercises can be a good alternative when the air quality outside is poor. Lastly, always listen to your body. If you feel any discomfort or difficulty breathing during exercise, it's important to slow down or take a break. Overworking your lungs can lead to injuries and other health issues. With these tips, you can ensure that your lungs get the most out of your workouts. So, there you have it, the remarkable changes your lungs undergo during exercise. We've journeyed through the basics of lung function, explored the immediate and long-term transformations that exercise induces in our lungs, and even picked up some handy tips for maximizing lung health through workouts. It's clear that exercise isn't just about building muscle or losing weight. It's a vital tool for maintaining our lung health. Regular physical activity enhances lung capacity, improves breathing, and bolsters our body's ability to fight off respiratory illnesses. It's a clear testament to the adage that a healthy body fosters a healthy mind. Your lungs, like any other part of your body, need to be exercised to stay in peak condition. So, don't neglect them in your fitness journey. Remember, your lungs are an essential part of your fitness journey, so keep them in top shape. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to Brainytainment for more informative and entertaining content. Until next time, stay brainy.